Wow, my new snow cone. Hey, Bill. Hey, Jeff, guess what I got? Um, a haircut? Uh, yes, I did, but actually I want to talk about this new snow cone. It's an edge processing computing device. It has data transfer and data storage. It's about the size of a tissue box. Bill, I think you actually have me at edge computing. It's got four gigs of RAM, uh, two virtual CPUs, eight terabytes of usable storage on there. Awesome. It runs uh, green grass. It can act as an IoT gateway. It's got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Comes preloaded with data sync. <laughs> Standard e-ink label on the front, so it automatically ships its Itself, which is pretty cool. It's got a USB-C for power and also a USB-C data port. So it's really quite flexible. And there's an optional battery pack that you can snap on the bottom. Wow, okay. So some of our customers actually need to use these devices in pretty harsh environments. Is this a rugged device? Yep. Will it work in freezing temperatures? Absolutely. How about in the desert? Yep, really hot environments, even like next to a welder, even when it's too hot to touch. Could we take it to a research ship using a drone? Yep, because it's four and a half pounds, you can snap it right on a drone. In fact, okay. uh, we were using it today to create a 3D model for the best arrangement for solar panels. Now, what about hospitals or industrial sites? That also. Tactical edge locations, transportation, logistics? Yep, all of those. All right, so the data and the device, they're both secure? Just like a snowball, the data is multi layer encrypted, and so companies like Deluxe, for example, with their One Vision, can use it for secure movie distribution and feel secure about it in transit. So it seems actually like this would be useful in a lot of places, the public sector, yes. defense, intelligence, and even disaster relief efforts. Yeah, it does a whole bunch of things. It's great for lightweight analytics on the edge. It can act as an IoT hub, uh, machine learning, where you're doing processing of data in real time. Ooh. It's got containers and EC2 instances on it, Ooh. and it lets people connect to the cloud really easily. So what's the difference between a snow cone and a snowball? So the wonderful thing about snow cone is part of the snow family. So it has all of the rugged capabilities, all the security capabilities, all the shipping capabilities, all of those things, just like its bigger brother, the Snowball Edge. But the primary difference is, of course, size, weight, compute, those kinds of things. So I think I got it. Small, rugged, portable, secure, and built to run outside of a data center. Is that about right? Yep, and puppies like it. How about that? <laughs> Would this fit in my mailbox? It can certainly do that. That's really cool. Can I take a look? Yeah, here. Got it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs>